Hey guys, welcome back to a quick episode of Home Theater Gurus. I was setting up for the next episode, which is supposed to be on using the Odyssey Editor app, but I've got some sub hum, and it's come up recently about sub hum, you know, what to do about it, why you have it. Now, we've got sub hum because of a cheap HDMI cable. As soon as I plugged it into the TV, you know, from my AVR to the uh, TV, I got the hum. So that's what's causing it. But sometimes you can't find out what's causing it. So there's a way to kind of block most of it. So that's what we're gonna cover really, really quick while I've got a sub that's humming. Now, of course, this is just a little mock-up 2.1 system I'm trying to get together so I can do the Odyssey video. Uh, we're living in a camper while we build, so I don't really have a legit home theater or living room or anything at the moment. So anyway, kind of excuse the mess. All right, so right here, we've got a hammer subwoofer. This is the one you saw in the Exohide video. And we've got a crown amplifier right here. And you see if I turn it up, you can easily hear that sub hum. And if I unplug the HDMI, you know, the little cheap HDMI completely goes away. But we want to keep it on because we're going to try to block it. All right, so now we're logged into the Mini DSP. You know, uh, you've got your different tabs. We're going to come over here to the crossover for output one. You know, you got your input coming in here in a routing. And here's your routing tab. We're coming in a one, out on one. So this is our output. Now we already have our high pass filter set for the hammer. We did that in a previous video and to answer any other questions, someone had a question about uh, if you unplug a mini DSP, does it lose its settings? Well, this one's been unplugged for about a month, well, three weeks, and I plugged it in just now and it still has its settings for the old high pass filter. So anyway, this right here is normally set at a thousand because it was used for a crossover for like a two way speaker by default. We just bypass it. And that basically lets anything pass through and we just block it at our high pass filter right here to protect our driver. If we unbypass this, I don't know if you heard that, but it got quieter. Oh, we actually had it for a thousand. All right, so now we've got that set for a thousand. Let's go ahead and unbypass it. And this is again, what it would be by default. And see the tone has changed, so it has gotten quieter. So there's some noise that HDMI cable is inducing on it above, you know, even above 8K because we've changed the tone, but it's still got some below it. Let's go ahead and drop it down to 140. You hear that? It's pretty much gone. So we're going to do that again with the mic closer to the sub so you can hear it a little bit better. There it is. And now we got quieter. Now we don't want to go too close to, you know, 120 D is like where our LFE begins. We're only down negative two at 120. So we could go with a little bit steeper filter. Let's go with a Butterworth. There we go, a little steeper. Now at 120, we're down zero dB, perfect. All right, so that right there has gotten rid of pretty much most of our noise. Now my gain is set up a little bit higher than I normally would have it on the amp. So once I set that back to where I would normally use it, you won't hear anything at all. Like I could still hear it in the room and now it's gone. But anyway, if I unplug the HDMI cable, the one, the bad HDMI into my receiver, it completely goes away no matter, even without that filter. But it's just to show you, if you do have something and you can't find out what's causing the hum, use the low pass filter to filter out anything except for the frequencies that your sub is actually going to be producing. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. I wasn't even prepared to really do a video today. This is just a really quick, rough video. I didn't even, you know, shave my head for this one or anything like that. So, hey, if you see a little stubble, that's that's my weekend look. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue setting up. While I'm doing that, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know the new videos come out. Give this video a thumbs up. The more you do that, the more YouTube pushes the channel. And we need more people to watch it because, as you know, the information on this channel is really going to help the performance of your system so you're getting what you paid for. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.